Okay, you guys, so you probably by now have already seen me on October 28th where I went out and everything like that. So I went out for two things. First, it was my high school reunion, and the second one was a Halloween party that I had already been invited to and planned on going to. But y'all, I really have to share this story because I feel like it's super relatable and people just like shrug their shoulders about it. But my high school reunion was a huge bust. And I want to tell my story because I feel like I have a lot of good people that I met in my high school, a lot of people that I will love for the rest of my life, a lot of people who went to my high school that I'm still friends with. But at the end of the day, I want to say my piece. So basically it was like a whole lot of effort put in from different people to just make a group chat with all of us in it so i do appreciate that aspect for sure because it allowed me to have the opportunity to reconnect with people that i literally haven't talked to or seen in like 10 years but the moral to the story is the chat the official chat was made back in like may you guys it was like may and then it's so much back and forth, you know, drama, drama, drama. Even though we're adults, it's still a whole lot of drama, which I understand that. Like, I've been living long enough. But at the end of the day, when it comes time to finalize things, plan things, and get it done, all of that really just doesn't matter. It can't matter. It can't be that much of a factor. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Nothing will get done. So it was a whole lot of, like, hoopla arguing about should we do this, should we do that? And I was just like, look... If you are the one who organized this party or this you, this reunion, it should be a few things for us to choose from. Let's take a poll. The largest one wins and go with that. It's obvious that everybody can't make everything, but if we're going to do this, that's what we should do. Comes down to it, it gets pushed back to from, it was planned to be in June or July. That got pushed back to September. That got pushed back to October. I ended up coming in the group chat and I think it might have been September because it was like crickets like nobody had been saying anything about it and I'm like I've been looking forward to this since like May so I just decided to take over in a sense and kind of like help because I felt like that's what I could have did to contribute and I kind of like reunited everything and I actually got good responses from a few people in the group chat mind you it's like 71 people in this group chat so i'm like that's a lot of people to have thinking about something and then just like let it down so it did become a last minute thing it became a communication thing but if we allow those type of things in life to hold us back like literally nothing would get done so i was just really upset that night you guys because i showed up to the event i kept my word on everything you guys as you saw and only one person showed up, but I appreciate that one person. And I understand why other people didn't show up because it's a lot of petty people who went to my high school and it's a lot of petty people in life, period. But I did celebrate my 10 year high school reunion in spirit. It's funny because these people are talking about celebrating our high school graduation next year. But when have y'all ever heard of an 11th year high school reunion? I plead my case. I'm gonna see y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video, by the way. And more to the story is, do you. Don't worry about what people be talking about because sometimes they're gonna be talking a whole lot of mess or doing a lot of stuff that don't make sense and then trying to come at you while all you're trying to do is the right thing. Just let it be and still do you like I did. Pull up to the function and celebrate however you choose to and then pop your ish and let them know because I did. Mwah. Love you guys. Hateful Charter Career Academy, class of 2013. By the way, we're the first ever graduating class from Hateful Charter Career Academy and also I was the first ever homecoming queen of Hateful Charter Career Academy. If you don't know, now you know. But the proof is on. The proof is in the pudding, actually. Alright, that's it. <laughs>